really offering these benefit concerts was a way to rekindle my passion for piano performance. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to do so. I'm gonna pressure myself to continue to work uh, at relearning the repertoire I once had under my fingers, as well as continuing my own uh, performance and composition of my own pieces. And let me just ch uh, text one person here. Uh, and. I will give it a few more minutes and then just get started because, you know. Okay. So, yeah. Those of you who are hearing me for the first time, I have been playing piano since I was eight years old. <laughs> and I got an, a late start according to uh, what I faced at competitions, there were some students that had been playing uh, almost twice as long as I had who were in the same categories as me because they started when they were like four years old. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful in hindsight that I started at eight because I was really able to appreciate it. And indeed, I, I was the one who begged for the piano uh, lessons. So here we are now, uh, 30, almost well, almost 40 years later. <laughs> and uh, yeah, finally getting back to it. In my adult life, I've really come to appreciate it and find a deeper consciousness of connecting to the to the language of the music. And uh, I so what I think I'm going to do is just really get started. And who's here is here who isn't isn't and I will just uh, provide the recording of the concert for those people who couldn't make it. Um, I'm going to play a short piece at first. And if you got if you can uh, mute yourselves, I'm not let's see if I can figure out how to mute everyone here. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I don't need to because everyone is capable. Oh, I can do it myself. Okay, so I'm going to just talk a little bit about the pieces and really just launch right in and I don't know so uh, yeah I will the first piece is short if anyone comes into the waiting room, I will let them in, but I won't stop the piece. So everyone can hear me okay okay and you can hear the the piano okay. All right. So I am going to dedicate this to my grandparents and to uh, my friend Barry and my, my ex-partner Jeff, who are all on the other side. And quite often while I'm practicing at home, I will feel their presences and I know that they are sending their love and that they are appreciating my music from the other side and it's sometimes i get emotional and other times i feel empowered so uh, this first piece is one of the first ones i ever wrote it's called my nameless love
Something is not right. Hold on a second. Ugh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start over again. So one time, my first uh, performance at a uh, an open mic in San Francisco, I, my pedal kept sliding and I had a nervous breakdown in front of everyone. They all laughed and then I started again and I, it was well, it went well because I had a standing ovation. All right. There's weird energies. I got to clear. This next one's a request.
Beethoven wrote that one. <laughs> uh, okay, next up. This is an unreleased one, meaning I haven't recorded it and officially released it. Alex says it's his favorite. And it's called Snow-Capped Mountains. I got distracted. Someone got booted off and I just let him back in. <laughs> Let's take it from somewhere.
Okay. Well, I wasn't planning on this, but I'm going to play. Uh, oh, sorry. I have conceived that. Um, just checking to see if anyone made it. Oh, whatever. They snooze, they lose. Um, I've conceived of having this next piece follow that piece on my new album I'm working on. So I just want to, for con continuity, but I haven't practiced this, so I forgive me if there's something wrong. But I did play this at my last concert, but it's okay. So pretend there was no interruption.
This last uh, two pieces are two movements, the last two movements of the Summer Solstice Sonata. I played the second movement last time and I promised I would learn the third movement, which is the Scherzo finale, and I did. So I'm gonna segue right into them, uh, right into the second movement. And we should end right around four o'clock.
my goodness. All right. Well, that concludes the concert. You can unmute yourselves if you'd like. Uh, ooh. It's quite, uh, man, I need to build up endurance. Mm. <laughs> Remembering all those notes is like, what? Anyway, I really appreciate you <laughs> for your support and being on here uh, today. Uh, I've always had a trouble. I've always had a challenge performing in front of people. So this is a really good practice. So um, yeah, as a side note, I do have a, a, a Patreon and uh, I think at the $50 a month tier, I give a, I have been giving a free concert, um, which is keeping me in check. It's just one person right now, one of my, uh, one of my students uh, who really likes my music and likes to support me. So, um, or I think it's the $15 a month, whatever it is, it's reasonable to keep me accountable, to keep me playing the piano and doing other things. Cause I'll just play the same piece over and over again. And I haven't done anything. So I'm just like, when is it? I was reading this book, um, Atomic Habits, and he said something about uh, motions, making the motions as opposed to taking meaningful action. And so, yeah, you know, when exactly am I gonna, you know, record these things or, or relearn my old repertoire? So I'm, I'm thinking differently. So I have recorded this on my, on my MIDI sequencer and I'll process it and we'll actually have a, a, a reasonable, just pure recording of the, of the music. Uh, that I'll share with everyone who uh, donated for this. And uh, I am, I've almost reached my fundraising goal. Oh. Uh, well, actually, I don't, I, I don't, I've been squirreling money away. You know, obviously, I'm not relying on the GoFundMe to fun finance my Peru trip. Uh, I'm, I'm very close to having enough money to pay to pay the whole trip, uh, like by mid month. So I really appreciate all your donation, all your help, all your support. Uh, this has been such a growing experience for me in so many ways uh, to, you know, help me with my healthy relationship with finances, with asking people <laughs> for help, but also reinterpreting the, the deep motivation as to why I do what I do. I, I play piano because I'm passionate about it. And I love it and, and I love to share it. And, and so the, sh you know, I can, I could share it for free, but that's sort of draining, you know, and, uh, and there's not a balance there. So uh, I'm really grateful that I've been able to do these benefit concerts and I'll continue to maybe do some uh, periodically, maybe every other month or something just to help me support my, my, my life and as part of my career. You know, I, I, my, the biggest hurdles I had were my teachers, my music teachers I looked up to. Uh, each one of them in turn, like kind of uh, really wounded me emotionally in a very weird way. I was very uh, uh, impressionable and sensitive and that really, that really uh, challenged me to believe that I could be successful uh, supporting myself with music, but I am reclaiming that because I believe I can and everything else that I do because I can't just do one thing. <laughs> anyway, thank you all. Uh, have a wonderful day. Um, I will get this, uh, this video too if you want to rewatch it and I will look at the audio that I, I, I recorded of just the pure music and see what that's like. There are some starts and stops and I might just clean that up and edit them out. Maybe adjust some of the wrong notes because it's a MIDI sequencer file. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. Have a wonderful evening. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bye, Brad. Bye. <laughs>